This is the phone model I've been working on in NX9 using 3DCS. Uh, in this video I will be showing a little bit of the assembly process of this basic phone model, um, some deviation, and some of the moves that I use to assemble this phone. Uh, first of all, you can see the phone can build and separate using the two icons in the top of the screen. Um, here I spin the phone around so you can see all the parts. There's volume buttons, all the buttons on a phone. Uh, here it's separated um, and you can see how all the parts come together. Uh, next there's some of the mesh that I used to do the um, profile tolerances. I changed the, to uh, the scale to 20 so you can see a little more of the deviation. I use sweep to show the deviation of the mesh um, and you can see that it gets thicker. That's the parts moving around, the mesh moving around. Um, next I'm going to move through some of the moves. This is the first move. Uh, the circuit board to the case right here. That uses the face and uh, that face on the circuit board, the green part, comes to the blue face or the back face of the blue part. It then locates with a pin and then a pin into a slot at the bottom right there. That's the slot that it locates into. The next move, well that's really the parts I used. The next move is the screen to the circuit board uh, that uses very similar features to move the part, the face, and then a pin on the top which goes into a hole, and then at the bottom there's a pin that moves into a slot that locates it. Um, there are a few more moves as you can see on the list. Um, but they're all pretty similar using pins and slots and faces to locate each feature. Uh, first to the uh, case there, the blue part, then to the center board or the circuit board.